welcome to my channel. Hello kids, I'm your teacher Zen. Welcome to science class, quarter two, week one, day one. Our learning objective at the end of the lesson the learner should be able to describe various objects like leaves in the environment using shape color and texture are you ready kids yeah! let's go Let's start with this jigsaw puzzle. Are you ready? This picture of a jigsaw puzzle shows Jigsaw puzzle is showing a child observing a dragonfly using a hand lens. Good job, kids! And for the question, what does the puzzle show? What do you notice the boy is doing? Why do you think he is using a hand lens? Think aloud. Science, we carefully look at objects to understand them better. What do you remember about observing? Complete the sentence below. I remember that when we observe, we blank. What do you think is the answer, kids? I remember that when we observe, we use our senses to describe things. Good job, kids! What are some things you see on the way to school? Possible answers, trees, flowers, leaves, rocks, animals, buildings. Good job, kids! What is this in the picture? Have you seen this on your way to school from your house? Do you know what this thing is? In today's lesson, you will describe familiar things in your surroundings, especially plants. We can understand the meaning of new words by looking at the other words in the sentence. These are called context clues. Let us read some sentences together and use context clues to figure out the meaning of some words. Identify the underlined words. Number 1. Rosario carefully studied her surroundings before crossing the road. The underlined word is surroundings. Number 2. 
Mang Pio waters the plant in the school garden regularly. He does it to ensure that the plant receive enough water for them to grow healthy. The underlying word is plants. Number 3. Kai, the main character in the story, made a spear which he used to catch fish. The spear could easily pierce fish because it was sharp and pointed. The, the, the underlined word is spear. What words help us understand what surroundings means? What do you think surroundings means based on the sentence? Possible answer Surroundings means the area or environment around a person. A plant is a living thing that grows in the soil, needs water, sunlight, and air to survive. Plants have roots, stems, leaves, and sometimes flower or fruits. A spear is a long pointed weapon or tool used in the past for hunting or fighting. It usually has a sharp tip made of metal or stone attached to a wooden pole. Good job, kids! Let's do the activity number one. Leaf detectives investigating the shape, color, and texture of leaves. Are you ready, kids? Let's now for activity sheet. Learning Area Science Week 1. This is quarter 2, day 1. Lesson title topic science science process scales. Activity 1. Leaf detectives investigating the shape, color, and texture of leaves. Materials needed. For learner, notebook and pen. For a group, we have two different fresh lips. You only have 20 minutes to do the activity. What to do? Copy the table below in your notebook. Use it to record your observation on the shape and color of the given lips. Lip, lip 1, lip 2. Shape, color and texture. 1. Look closely at leaf 1. Question 1. What is the shape of leaf 1? Question 2. What is the color of leaf 1? Question 3. How does leaf 1 feel when you touch it? Is it smooth or rough? Look at their surroundings. What are the things in the surroundings? Can you describe the color, shape, and texture of those things? Possible answers The blackboard is rectangular and is smooth, or the tree outside has rough, bark, and green, oval shaped leaves. Now, complete the following sentences. We have here, In observing something, I have learned that we can use blank. I have observed that leaves have different blank and blank. The answer is, Our senses in observing something, I have learned that we can use our senses. I have observed that leaves have different length and width.
Good job, kids! Ready for the evaluation class? Let's go! Instruction Read the situation below. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one Which word best describes the shape of this lip? A. Round B. Oval C. Pointed D. Square Number two, if you see a basketball and a tennis ball, which one is bigger? A. Tennis ball B. Basketball C. They are the same size D. It cannot be determined Number three, which object would feel the lightest when you hold it? A. Paper clip B. A water bottle C. A, C, a backpack D. A brick Four. Which object is most likely to have a smooth texture? A. A pine cone B. A river rack C. A cactus D. A piece of Bark effect. Wait. 5. Which pair of objects would be about the same size but different weights? A. A cotton ball and a rock. B. A pencil and a marker. C. A car and a bicycle. Letter D. A marble and a bowling ball. Now, let's check our answer. For number one, the answer kids is C. Number two, B. Three, A. Four, B. And five, C. Good job, kids! Thank you for listening. See you next time.